Hey, it's Chris von der Weyden, founder of Mind Prana Academy, and in this video, I want to teach you how to connect to any crystal. So whether you've got a, maybe a brand new piece of Aurolite 23 or a unfamiliar stone to you, like something like this little piece of Brookite, uh, what do you do to first establish that connection and really begin to feel that crystal energy? Now, the thing that's crucial to understand is that we have different levels of consciousness. So there's mental consciousness, there's more physical consciousness, and then there's an emotional consciousness. Now, the big mistake that I see a lot of people making is they try to connect to a crystal using their mind. So no matter how hard you, you think at a crystal or no matter how hard you imagine at it, um, you're not going to experience the crystal. So just like with an apple, no matter how hard you think at an apple, no matter how much you think you're experiencing that apple, it's not until you take that apple and actually eat it and go through that experience that you finally get to know what, that, what the apple has to offer you. So crystals are very much the same way. We don't want to think about the crystal. Instead, we want to connect to the energy. This is more of a body or an emotional experience. And so anytime you want to connect to an energy, um, there's basically two, two things that can get in the way. One, you can have some kind of block or resistance to uh, feeling a certain energy. Or two, you, it may be a, an energy that's so new to you, you have no idea what it's like. And so um, try to imagine a color that you've never seen before. You can't really do it because you know the only colors you know are the ones you've seen. So with crystals, um, Looking at the first situation, the, the, the situation where maybe there's a block getting in the way of me experiencing that energy, the thing I like to do is cut through all those blocks with a little trick called gratitude. Uh, so anytime I get a new stone, I'll, I'll hold the stone, I'll close my eyes, and then I'll just begin to feel gratitude towards the stone. And what this is doing is that the gratitude cuts through any kind of resistance you have. When I you know, look at the camera and say, thank you, it automatically connects me. When you, when you thank someone, it connects you to that person. When you feel gratitude towards a stone, it connects you to that stone and opens you up to the energy. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do when you have a new stone is just hold the stone uh, and then begin feeling gratitude to that stone. That clears the space. It clears any blocks that may be in your space now you're able to directly connect that energy. So with that gratitude on, um, then you begin listening. You begin feeling. What's, what's the new energy that's coming in? What's this new energy in my space? How am I, how am I feeling? What changes am I noticing? Um, so using uh, just a little bit of gratitude, that'll open you up to connect to any stone. Now, even with that trick, there may still be specific energies that are maybe just completely foreign to you, something you've never experienced before. So brookite is one of these really high vibration crystal energies. And even with the gratitude trick, you may you know, open up, feel that gratitude towards you know, a brookite or maybe a, something like a berylonite, and maybe you don't feel anything. And you think, okay, am I doing something wrong? And it's not that you're doing something wrong, it's just that there's a range of frequencies that you haven't opened up to yet. So this is where you've actually got to go in and do the work, uh, uh, working with stones, working them through meditation, whatever spiritual practice you like, to just kind of clear away stuff, to, to train yourself to hear higher and higher vibrations. Um, and this is somewhat of a skill. This is somewhat of an evolution. So some stones, I mean, the first time I picked up Moldavite, didn't feel a thing. It wasn't until I had gone through maybe a couple months of working with other stones, working with stones that did resonate with me, that the next time I went and picked up that piece of Moldavite, it was like, oh my gosh, this is intense. Um, that energy was there the first time, I just wasn't conscious of it, I couldn't hear it. So whether you're brand new to crystals or you've been working with them for a while, those are the two ways that'll help you connect to absolutely any stone.